How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you my favorite trick in iOS 14, the newest and just released operating system that runs in all our iPhones. So on the latest beta version, we have an awesome feature. It's just truly amazing. You're going to love it. And it is actually regarding the back of the phone. Uh, it takes place here in the back, in the glass back of the iPhone. And how does it work? It's actually a touch a tap in the back that will actually trigger, that will actually activate a feature, uh, a command here in our iPhone. Let me show you. So a double tap in my case is going to bring up the control center or a triple tap, one, two, three, is going to bring up, actually going to take a screenshot. How cool is that? Uh, let me show you how you can set it up because it's very, very easy. But keep in mind that it only works again in iOS 14. So if you're not updated to iOS 14 just yet, make sure to go ahead and click on the card right here to go to another video of mine showing you how to install iOS 14 free without a developer account, without a computer. It's super, super easy. Okay. So now that you have iOS 14, we can go. So just head over to settings and then we're going to scroll down to accessibility and then under physical and motor we're gonna have touch so tap on touch and then scroll all the way down it's gonna be it's pretty hidden actually you can see back tap so that's what we're talking about so tap on, on that and then we can customize we can set it up as I mentioned a double tap and a triple tap and we can pretty much do whatever we want so if you tap here on double tap and uh, both those menus are exactly the same okay so I'm just gonna show on double tap uh, you can do a lot of different things like for example an accessibility shortcut, the app switcher, control center, which is what we have. The, it, it, it can mimic the home button, lock screen, mute, notification center, uh, reachability, screenshot, shake, Siri, volume up, volume down. Look at that. You can also have accessibility shortcuts as well, uh, like assistive touch, invert, uh, magnifier, voiceover, zoom. Uh, you can have scroll gestures like scroll up and scroll down, like if you're doing uh, scrolling on a web page or whatever. And then we also have shortcuts that you can use regular shortcut the automation shortcuts uh, that we use with the uh, shortcut app which is this one right here shortcuts we can use that as well so then we can so this actually means that the possibilities are just endless using shortcuts and I have a video on shortcuts as well if you want to learn more I'm gonna put in order another card right here as well so I think this is actually useful for everybody but especially if you have broken buttons for example imagine that you have a uh, volume button uh, problem volume up or volume down one of those are broken or maybe both of them so then you can set for volume up for example and then you can double tap on the back and then it's gonna uh, bring the volume up again it's gonna bring the volume up a little bit more and then it's gonna do incremental changes in the volume same story if you put volume down and if you have a volume up problem volume button problem you won't be able to actually take a screenshot for example that's why I think it's also very interesting to take a screenshot or maybe you have a power button that's broken of course you can also set to lock the screen so then you can double tap and then it's gonna lock the screen automatically how cool is that so that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like it. Hope you think this is useful. Hope this makes you want to actually uh, install iOS 14 and use it a little bit better, use it a little bit more, because now you know an extra awesome new feature that maybe you didn't know before. So please make sure to go ahead and update your iOS 14 using my method, using my video, and I'm sure you're going to love it. And if you like this video, this one, uh, I would really appreciate it if you could hit the like button down below. Also, the comment section hit the comment section. I would love to see your thoughts on this. And also, of course, the subscribe button. So then I get note and then the little bell icon, of course. So then you get notified whenever I post a new video. So that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye bye.